Yeah, hi there. This video is a quick demonstration on how to prune grapevines. Uh, first off, I'm in northern Utah, USDA Zone 6A. So I like to prune my, my grapevines between February and March, uh, and no later than the middle of March, just so the grapevine is still dormant. Uh, otherwise, when I go to prune it, if it has broken dormancy, it will bleed or sap out. And that can affect the, uh, the health of the plant. So yeah, just try to prune when your plant is still dormant. Uh, the center of the grapevine is generally referred to as the trunk and the lateral growth that you're going to train along a trellis or whatever is usually referred to as a cordon. And so as you hear me talk about the trunk and the cordon, um, just understand that the trunk is the vertical thickest portion of your grapevine and the cordons are the lateral sections that grow out from the trunk. Uh, I just pruned out a pretty thick cordon that I had trained laterally for the last two years. And when the wood on the cordon starts to peel or exfoliate, then I know that it's getting a little bit old and I'm going to prune it out and leave one of last year's laterals from last year's growth as my new cordon. And so I'm just kind of renewing the plant, keeping some of those cordons younger, more productive, and so that's how I prune my grape plants and keep them at, you know, more or less the shape that I want. I don't keep the cordons. Like I said, I prune out the old and train new cordons every year. Well, every one to two years. Um, but that's how I do it. And yeah, I get great, great fruit production from the plant by doing it this way. So you've seen that I've thinned out that right side really heavily. I'm going to do the same thing to the left side. And that's pretty much it. I'll speed up the video so that you can see the end result. And, um, and I'll also mention that when I prune certain grape plants, uh, I will throw the cuttings down in front of the grapevine so that I can come back later, get some of those pieces that I've trimmed out, and cut some sections that I'm going to root and create new plants from. So I like to root cuttings from grape vines just because it's so easy. Uh, whether I'm going to use them or not, I, I have a hard time not rooting them down just because I, uh, I enjoy growing plants so much. But yeah, great plants. They're one of the easiest plants to, uh, to root from cuttings and create your own new plants. And I'll show that in another video that I'll post shortly. So yeah, thanks for watching. Um, leave a comment and subscribe. Thanks.